hello guys good afternoon you're welcome back to my channel my name is olivia if you just see me for the first time thank you welcome i'm a nigerian who lives here in south africa and i make various content so please subscribe if you're not yet subscribed to this channel and when you do subscribe please hit on the bell sign that's where you'll be notified of any of my subsequent videos okay to, to all my returning subscribers thank you very much i appreciate each and every one of you and um without further ado let's jump right into the video So guys, in today's video, I want to react to a few comments on my videos, on my previous videos. I feel this kind of reaction might give clarity to some things and answer some questions that I didn't get to answer and just put clarity to different perspectives to the videos because I'm all, all for learning and I feel it can correct a few impressions. Yes, so a lot of South Africans have asked some questions and some have made, made some comments and recommendations. So in today's video, I'll just read out the comment. I mean, react and answer the questions and answer the, yeah, basically you understand what I mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> so don't mind the video quality if it's not too good there's no electricity and i've been waiting for so long it doesn't seem to be coming up so i'm just using natural lighting to film this video and i hope it comes out well so mainly the quest these questions mainly come from the culture shock video culture shock between south africa and nigeria that i put out i think last two years or last year i think think so that should be like last two years so the first question says please tell us about the similarities we want to know the similarities between nigeria and south africa okay so that if this one deserves a different video so i'll just make a different video stating the similarities and um between nigeria and south africa there are a few similarities guys there are there are differences and their similarities so so the second one said i find it interesting that what you said about south africa is truly main is true mainly in urban areas and what you said about nigeria is actually true in a rural south african behavior i understand that when one makes a research or study will use representative sample like how then in your case but at the same time this might be only 50 percent representatives of south africa so i think i was talking about in that culture shock behaviors how south africans kind of keep to themselves or like how south africa has changed me i think this is it's how south africa has changed me how i can keep to myself in south africa like the kind of interaction social interaction in south africa is different from nigeria that in nigeria people are just in, on your case people you know your neighbors your neighbors are nosy and you know those kind of more a much more closer interaction between you and your neighbors i suppose south africa so from what i understand that this subscriber is trying to say that those kind of relationship exist in south africa in the rural setting like whereby a neighbor you know your neighbors you know you go to your neighbor's house you're like basically friends with your neighbors your neighbors can even ask intrusive questions just like in the case of Ni in nigeria because i was saying that in that video that your neighbor can ask you oh he's like he's like you're pregnant you know that kind of thing or like you just gave birth you know intrusive questions they're all on in your space while whereas in south africa i from my video whereas in south africa people just keep to themselves okay but she's trying to say that in the rural south africa that it happens that your neighbors are that close to you and they can be that intrusive and they can you know be on your space more than but uh, in the urban setting yeah so that's the similarity between nigeria and south africa that the rural south africans behave more like nigerians while the urban south africans probably behave like the whites the british the americans or something like that so yeah i'll just put that as a similarity so that's a similarity so that makes sense thank you for correcting that impression so now we know that the rural south africans don't keep to themselves as much as i i said in that video that the rural south africans are kind of similar to nigerians they can be on your space your, you can know your neighbor your neighbor can be your friend and you eat together wine together drink together and all that so yeah thank you so much the reason i chose this comment as well is that it came up a few times a lot of people were like oh no that's in the rural setting um that it's different that what i described was more like what happens in the urban setting which makes sense to me actually so the next comment i took is the one that has to do with culture culture clash um look out for that video culture clash between nigeria and south africa that's comment i was talking about the culture clash they had 
when they were in nigeria so look out for that video so the next comment says you have evolved my sister once more welcome to mzamzi but where i am different is counseling or cautioning young people particularly in my neighborhood when i see them engaging in antisocial or up unbecoming behavior that is a there i refuse to mind my business i must say i always tell them to remain well behaved that they are the future leaders kind of so i think this comment comes from the minding my business part subscriber is trying to say that he or she actually minds his her business i think she's a lady from the, the picture that she actually minds her business but that she tries to kind of um only caution the young people when she sees young people doing things that they shouldn't do she kind of calls them to order and give them reasons why they shouldn't do what they are doing yes because i i said that south africans mind their business and they do their thing no you don't owe anybody nothing and yeah which makes sense i think what she's saying makes sense because i mean if you see a young person doing something you have to caution i think that's one characteristic that nigeria has then that if you see your mommy's friend or you see somebody an elder when you're in a bad place you're doing something that you shouldn't do you just be running because you know they are ah, be a come what are you doing where are you going to why are you dressed like this you know those kind of things so she's trying to say that that she doesn't mind her business when it comes to all those kind of you know having to be in a place where she has to correct a young person which is very noble yeah thank you so much for doing that which also has to do with the similarity between nigeria and south africa because nigerians don't mind that like in fact those aunties there eh, that always catch you doing like you and one boy you're just somewhere talking with one boy you know when we are teenagers that auntie she sees you she'll tell your mom <laughs> this next comment says um we hug a lot we kiss everyone from grandfather to baby of the family we also say i love you i think this has had to do with a video where i said you know being caring and being compassionate or something like that okay i'm south africa and my man is Igbo. he says he now learned about hugging as he never knew it's back home so i think in this video i was talking about the way south africans are, are different when it comes to hugging cheerfulness and all those things our parents in nigeria are, they are not used to those kind of things like it's just kind of you know we, they are not into huggy huggy and kissy kissy so this person is trying to say that she is married to an, an Igbo man a nigerian man but she's trying to kind of rearrange her husband now that he now hugs the kids and does those kind of things so i think that's why that's another advantage of inter intercultural marriage if you marry interculturally you kind of you're trying to you're going to kind of rub off you know one thing about nigerian men they are not that affectionate i can tell you for free they are not affectionate affectionate they have to be intentional to be affectionate you know they have this kind of mentality of macho macho-ness macho-ness so but marrying someone from a different culture and being in a, dif a place where a different culture is it kind of resets your brain if that makes sense and which is what this person is talking about in this comment yeah i like that so the next commenter says beautiful video it's well though the observation is good as for friendly neighbors it depends if you gel with your neighbors if you gel with with them you will have perfect relationship with them not being intrusive but friendly enough to be cordial and take care of each other which makes sense actually but it depends on the environment there are some environments where even if you're cordial your cordialness has to be from afar like where i stay yeah you can take care of each other if you see somebody you just wave well it just depends on the community and the environment person now says as for greeting i went to nigeria with my ex-partner ha the level of greeting even at the hotel <laughs> people are saying good evening auntie madam i would think to myself i am not your auntie <laughs> So I'm telling you in Nigeria, oh my god, they love title. <sighs> god, madam. Now I tell Nigerians, please don't call me madam, call me my name. Like, I don't like if you see somebody, madam, auntie. Ah, oh, it's too much. I understand. This person, <laughs> she's 
said she went to Nigeria with her ex partner and the greeting was on another level. They greet, they greet, they say, Auntie, Madam, it's one thing about Nigerians, especially the Yoruba people of Nigeria. Oh my God, Yoruba people can greet. Some of them can even bow. Their culture is bowing down to greet you. They call you mommy, auntie, daddy. Ah, even if you're not their daddy, you're daddy. Even if you're not their mommy, you're a mommy. <laughs> so the first thing she said, Ah, you push, you stop calling me auntie. I'm not your auntie. Okay, so I was talking about in that video how you know mannerism how nigeria is different from south africa now says for the meat my ex never is never a fan of meat nigerians like turkey snail and a little chicken and beef and goat meat exactly in nigeria a little bit of everything we like snail we like turkey yeah we like turkey a lot we like chicken we like goat meat we like beef a little bit of everything you will see in a soup there's a little bit of each meat although not like the meat the soup is not just it's not going to be just meat as food but there's a little bit of everything she, she now says i've never seen people who eat goat this much yes nigerians they actually prefer goat meat to beef they prefer goat meat anything goat meat they are there even here in, in south africa if i see where they are selling goat meat i usually order goat meat from instagram so they love me some goat meat goat meat pepper soup ghost you goat jollof goat everything what <laughs> this comment so she says nigerians they love goat meat they love a little bit of every meat but when it comes to four leg animal they love goats and they love chicken and they love turkey over chicken and they love snail so you know this kind of videos brings the whole discussion from a different perspective so she also says i want i want to introduce pork to my ex-partner he never liked it yeah nigerians are not big on pork nigerians don't even know what is rib we didn't know rib but you know I just came to South Africa and I knew what they call rib. They are not big on pork. Yeah, she says, I realize Nigerians are not used to pork. I tried snail and I did not like it. I can't recommend them for myself on a daily basis. Nevertheless, I am glad you are integrating. As I love this, share some about Nigerians. I think, I don't know if it's similarities or likes or, yeah, maybe something that will never leave behind or without. Okay, this person was telling me to do a video that says, like, something I will never leave behind. I think I've made this kind of video, something I'll never leave behind or something I'll never do without. Nigerian things I'll never do without i think i made this kind of video i said i'll never do without my food my culture i'll never do without especially my food my nigerian food is a must the no-brainer i'll never do without um my my ankara wears yeah a few things i'll never do without as night as a nigerian woman next comment says i visited my in-laws in senegal yo they greet you for one hour <laughs> I don't know about Senegal, honestly, but I know that Nigerian, Yoruba people of Nigerians greet. They prostrate and greet, so they greet a lot. She said, one by one. If there's 10 people, imagine, she laughed. She now said, they kiss both cheeks. Oh, Senegal, that's cool, that's cool. She now said, my husband's friend complained about me to him that I don't greet them properly. So, in, one thing about South Africans, their greeting is cordial. Hello, how are you, Jani? You're Jani, you're they're not into too much with so i understand why her husband's people will, her husband's friend will say ah this is your wife don't because maybe she's not hugging and greeting and so it depends but i think when they are family when they see family they kind of hug and 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 kiss and do all that yeah i'm expected to greet first of which you know if you find me first in my culture you greet first you see this person is reiterating that point where i said um, if you find a South African first, you greet here. I also, this person said, I also have to ask after their family members one by one. And I don't even know them. <laughs> the whole neighbors come every day to greet 7 a.m. People, we are already knocking. Upon hearing the knock, my mother-in-law will call me out. I am now used to that. I, I greet first and ask about all the family members and ancestors from the village to the city. <laughs> so that's one thing about intercultural marriages. She's trying to say that, you know, in Senegal, where 
she's married to as a south african they greet a lot even in the morning in the morning people i can imagine i think in the village in nigeria if you come back i think it's the same thing people will come to your house in the morning very early a lot of people will come and they'll be greeting oh so she says she's expected to ask what of your mother your father Kwanu, hey sister hey, okay what of all the children <laughs> But she's now used to it so according to her senegals they can greet so that's good that's good to know about senegals i never knew that this comment says i wish we were more like nigerians somehow though where they know everything about you it's a good community setup of obviously this person is also in the urban area people who know your business or they don't see you in the road i'm sure they will check up on you okay that's the advantage of you know being having that communal life what if you are lying dead in your house and would want a nosy neighbor then yeah in south africa you can feel so left alone that you would think if i collapse here no one will know then again that's in the suburb yeah she's also talking about the suburb where she says that of course this is the advantage of you know that communal life people will always check up on you if you're not feeling well they will always check up on you and there will never be a lonely or dull moment next comment says sister olivia i get a sense that you are living in the suburb okay that's same the same thing oh she's where this person is trying to say that probably a a, a top class like umshlanga um yeah you are only projecting your experience based on your surrounding i don't want to read all the whole questions so this you can imagine you can see that it has to do with the areas the area differs if you're in the suburb there's a suburb or a city life and if you're in the um rural area or in the township there's a township kind of life yeah that has been corrected this commenter says just want to say this because you are selling south africa to your fellow nigerians as if it's a first world country no south africa is still a developing country it may be ahead with infrastructures compared to other african countries but reality is that there is a lot you do not know about south african people and township and rural areas what you've been seeing here in durban is just three percent of the whole thing but i like that you are kind and not braggadocious <laughs> like some of your fellow countrymen who come here and label south africans as full and lazy so she's trying this person is trying to uh, reiterate the fact that south africa is still a developing economy which i always say i always say it i don't know maybe you just watch a few times i always sometimes say it, but when i want to project or sh you know talk about good things i don't have to start you know uh, you know if you know that africa africa is africa africa is not first world so but in other videos i also talk about that south africa is a developing economy they still have their challenges however they are still better than other african countries so i'm not selling south africa in a bad light and i'm not I'm encouraging people to come because I know that that's the part where most South Africans don't like. I always say that disclaimer, please. So yeah, last one that I'll read today is uh, um, my dear sister in South Africa in the suburb is different from locations in so like Soweto and all that. My neighbor is my sister, so the same thing. We greet. If you don't greet, nobody will really consider you to be well behaved. Yeah. So this, this person is still trying to say the same thing whereby urban area is different from rural area thank you so much for watching if you like this video subscribe comment share this video and um if you have any question on my comment section that you want me to address just just pinpoint it to me i will save it and probably i'll make a part two of this video if you like this video and um i'll see you in my next one make sure you comment and thumbs up bye